People can fake it um, with climate policies. There have been a lot of cases in the past where uh, politicians have, you know, said I'll achieve a target but not done any of the policies you need to have, which are either to put a price on pollution or regulate technologies and energy, and usually it's a combination of those. We have a prime minister, we have a, an environment minister, and we have a cabinet that are utterly committed to real action on climate change, both here in Canada and internationally. They have done a price on pollution, now subsidies for electric vehicles, uh, more money for transit, and, and now uh, they're bringing in a clean fuel standard, which is a kind of regulation. Those are all things that will help move us in transportation. Since 2015, we've got a government that is putting in carbon pricing, pollution pricing, is putting in regulations to phase out coal plants and regulations on vehicles and fuel emissions, and those are the kind of things students need to rally for, support, and engage politically <coughs> to make it happen. From my perspective, it is absolutely urgent that people understand that they, if they care about climate change, they need to ensure that our government gets back in. This is the first time we've had a federal government that is climate sincere. Not the previous conservative government, not the previous liberal government. When I look at the Conservative Party of Canada, I see insincerity in those policies because they're sort of saying, I'm gonna make energy costs cheaper and the other stuff was gonna destroy your economy, a price on pollution, which no independent expert agrees with. And I'm actually gonna relax all the any regulations and somehow emissions aren't gonna go up, but our analysis shows they are. So Canadians need to be able to see through that.